Denise, you've just finished six one-on-one sessions with me, which is something that I offer to people who have done the self-led online scoliosis correction protocol, and they may be looking for a little bit more. But I'm interested in why you chose to do the six sessions one-on-one with me after having done the scoliosis correction protocol by yourself. Okay. Um, About six months into the program, I actually had my first full x-ray of my spine. And prior to that, I had only had my lumbar area done. So I started the program on my own uh, self-directed thinking I had a reverse C curve and it ended up with the second x-ray that I do have a minor uh, curve in the thoracic, meaning I have an S curve. And I got a little bit nervous about that and I felt I needed some direction from the expert. And uh, that's how I reached out to you and uh, we got started. Um, And that's been a big help to me so excellent <laughs> okay so yeah you you're doing it by yourself and then uh, and you had some some news to say well maybe what you're doing wasn't the right thing uh and so we wanted to check that with me and then go through the program all right after these six sessions what do you feel you've had in terms of results i think i've had great results um um i shared with you uh some images uh of my shoulders prior to starting the exercise program. Uh, And then I showed you uh, months into it and uh, my shoulders have leveled off tremendously. It's it's very noticeable to me. Uh, So that was one very big um, improvement. Um, Another thing is I have much more flexibility throughout every area of my body. Uh, I'm not where I want to be, but I just feel I have a lot more ability to rotate through my thoracic area. Um, uh, My hips, although still very stiff, uh, I've got much more movement into my hips and pelvis, and I'm able to do the exercise program uh, with almost pain-free. I only, only those days that I might overdo will I ever have a problem. So it's uh, my comfort level with my spine is greatly improved, I would say. Excellent. And within six weeks, the body can change a certain amount, but it sometimes takes longer. So you're right, you, you will experience some changes in flexibility, some changes in strength, but those changes will continue to, to compound the more you do these exercises. So having worked one-on-one, what, um, what's been enjoyable for you or unexpected for you? What, what's been the benefits of the lessons for you? Not results, but just, you know, interacting with me. Uh, that I like your style, I guess, the best. You're pretty laid back. Um, you do not criticize when a person is doing something. You literally help them out by um, giving suggestions uh, and sometimes things that can be done in steps. So you don't jump from uh, one level uh, to the next without implementing some in-between steps, which is easier for someone with my (laughs) limited ability to grasp things so the the non-critical aspect and um and break, said, breaking down into steps yeah it's like it's one of the things with the um self-led protocol is that the exercises had to pitch at a certain level so it's not they're not too easy they're not too difficult but sometimes that can be too difficult for some people and there are regressions and then there can be too easy for some people and there can be um increases to the exercises and what I love doing on the one-on-one training is showing people how to regress the exercises and then build up. Once they can do the exercises, what they can do next. You know, there's a, there's a huge sort of spectrum around every single one of the exercises in the, in the protocol that can be improved and uh, also can be made easier. 
Right. So what what would be your um, thoughts on people who potentially have done the online program by themselves? Would you recommend they take some of these exercises with me? So the one on one with me? Or would you what, what would you be your thoughts around that transitioning to the one on one training? Oh, I think it's of great value because there's no way on your own to identify areas um, where you may not be doing something correctly. And although there weren't tons of them that I that I needed improvement, they were certainly enough that it's made a huge difference in my progress. Um, the other thing is on my own, there were areas of the program that I hadn't even explored. Uh, the back correction protocol at the beginning, the floor exercises, the identifying areas uh, and restrictions. Um, I never finished any of that. So it forced me to go through an area uh, and identify some areas of incredible tightness and restrictions in an area of my body that I wasn't aware of my my hips and my pelvis, et cetera, for me were a huge problem. And you don't really understand the impact of what those restrictions have on other areas of your spine. So I would not have done that without the program, yeah. to tell you the truth. That's true. I think some people, they click on, let's say the full body testing, and they're like, well, there's 25 videos in there. You know, I just want to get to the to the scoliosis exercises. Then they get comfortable with their routine. But you're right; they're neglecting the fact that you know a problem in the foot will will go up towards the hip, and then that makes a problem in the hip, which affects the spine and so on. And so, the really the full body approach is is what what I preach, and that's what we we've been going over in the last six weeks. So I like that. Thank you very much for sharing, and thank you very much for being uh, such a good sport with this with the six week program and coming on here and letting me know what you thought about it. Really appreciate that. Thank you, Ed.